In this video, we're going to derive a short-run cost equation from a firm's CES production function. The firm faces a wage of $20 and a price of capital of $10. Output is produced according to the CES production function. This is a short-run problem, so K will be fixed at 9 units of output. We're going to plug this 9 units of output back into the production function. So Q equals 9 to the point to the point 0.5 power. Uh, that will just simplify down to 3. And now I want to solve this expression for L, units of labor. Taking the square root of both sides gets rid of the square term here on the right-hand side. Over here, subtracting 3 from both sides. And now we're going to square both sides. So L equals the following. And this will only hold true when Q is greater than 9. For example, if Q equals 9, 9 to the 1 half power is 3, and L will equal 0. Or if uh, Q is, say, 4, then we're going to get a negative result, um, which doesn't make sense uh, for labor. So for Q less than or equal to 9, L will equal 0. So here's our, some key results that we're going to use now, moving forward. So again, just rewriting those. Forming our total cost equation, which is the wage times units of labor plus the price of capital times units of capital, using our values that we had in the first slide, W is 20, R is 10, K is fixed at 9, and simplifying. So for L, we're going to plug in this result right here. And that will only hold true for output levels greater than 9. For output levels less than or equal to 9, L will equal 0. So 20 times L. L is going to be 0 in this case since we're dealing with output less than or equal to 9 units. And simplifying total cost, the short run total cost will just equal $90. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.